Back to back to back state champions. That's what now describes World Girls Hockey after their 5-2 victory over Dodge County in the Class A title game on Saturday. It was an unlikely a run as any given the squad graduated 10 seniors from last season's championship roster, four of which now play NCAA Division I hockey, leaving this year's team with only seven upperclassmen. The Warriors entered the state tourney as the four seed, their lowest seeding to date, yet despite it all, found a way to lift the trophy for a third straight year. Here's how it all went down at the Excel Energy Center on Saturday. Warro taking on three seed Dodge County. The Wildcats making their first state tournament appearance, but they were not intimidated by the Warriors or their 15 tourney appearances as Norrin Karstensen cashes in on the power play for the Wildcats. They lead one nothing. The Warriors have been down before though, and Kaya Sandy on the other end threads the needle and ties the game. Check out this angle, just impossible, wow. Less than a minute later, Sophie Johnson dumps it to Jaylee French who goes five hole and it squirts out the other side and into the net. And just like that, the Warriors lead two to one. In the second period, you just knew it was the Warriors night when stuff like this happens. Taylor Reese off the skate of a defender and in. Reese finished with two goals, four for the tournament. Makes it three to one. Later, French to Vivian Martauka, who sneaks one past the netminder. That made it 4-1 in favor of Warroad. Each team would tack on another in the third frame for the final score of 5-2. It's a three-peat for Warroad. Some might even call it a dynasty. But it wasn't an easy road, which might have made this title run that much sweeter. The last two years, it was so fun. But this year, it just really stood out to me because we just we had to work. It took us all, the whole team, to work so hard. And thinking back to the section final of how close the game was, and just to pull it off is just it's amazing. We don't have Talia, Kate, and Bartz to do it for us. Like we need to take it upon ourselves and step into our role and put the puck in the net ourselves. I got to show up to play personally. Like I can't can't rely on anyone else but to do it. I think everybody in the state was writing us off for this year, um, but. We had a few bumps in the road, but we learned along the way, and I'm just really, really proud of these guys for coming together when it mattered most at the end. They also announced the all-tournament team after the game, and six Warriors made the list, all of them juniors or younger. Bright outlook for the Warriors over the next few years. Well, it's 357 miles and nearly six hours between Warroad and the Excel Energy Center in St. Paul, and it can be tough for some to make the trek, so many who couldn't, and even those who did, we're at the gardens on Sunday afternoon to welcome back the team as they arrived, escorted by fire engines and the like. It's a celebration that now feels like a yearly tradition given the Warriors' success, but it is certainly not getting old. It's still, it's the best feeling ever. I love ending a good senior season by winning, not losing, that's awesome. And being able to get this trophy with the jersey I wore, yeah, it's awesome. This town has been amazing. Um, the support here for girls hockey especially is unreal and it's just so blessed to have a community that supports us this much. It's incredible. They say that nobody cares about girls hockey like Waro does and when we came in it truly just made it feel all real. Like truly Waro does care the most about girls hockey. Fun fact, it was their first time winning the championship in the black jerseys. Normally they have the whites on, but mm -hmm. normally they're not underdogs either. Literally doing cartwheels over the win. Yeah, <laughs> yeah one of the <laughs> assistant coaches, yeah. Comstock. It was great. Love it. All right, thanks, Charlie. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.